and our, our next competitor is uh, Jack Robotton. When I watch The Apprentice, I'm sometimes struck by something quite peculiar, other than, of course, Sir Alex of his face. And that is that the team will sometimes pick sort of out of context scientific words for their team names velocity, vector, momentum. And one word that comes up a lot in business that particularly irks me is when a businessman comes over and says, oh yeah, I was a bit of a catalyst on that project. <laughs> and this really makes me want to grab them by the neck and shake them quite firmly and yell, catalysis, catalysis, what is this catalysis? And fortunately, the answer to that question is really quite simple. A catalyst provides a chemical reaction with a lower energy pathway uh, to proceed along. So, to give you an example, take a very lazy person, a student. <laughs> he wants a pint of milk that happens to be on the top of Mount Everest. Now, obviously the student hasn't the energy to go to the top of Mount Everest to get that milk. He barely has the energy to pick up the remote control from the floor to change the countdown. <laughs> so, there needs to be something to make that reaction happen. Enter the catalyst. But the catalyst doesn't pick the student up and take him up the mountain. The catalyst is much shrewder. The catalyst simply says, Sir, there is a Tesco around the corner. <laughs> They're quite posh catalysts. And, and so, these are really very important for industry. The idea that you can make a reaction happen, but at a lower energy, you can save this energy, it's good for money, and it's good for the environment. So there are millions of different types of catalysts, right from palladium to quail's eggs. You can use almost anything. So, you, it's easy to get confused, but they fall broadly into two camps. Homogeneous catalysts, homo catalysts, heterogeneous catalysts, heterocatalysts. Now, a heterocatalyst exists in a separate phase from the rest of the reaction. So, I am a reactor mo molecule, and these are the heterocatalysts. I have to go to them in order that I can react. <laughs> now, you, the lovely audience, you are the reacting mixture, and I am the homocatalyst. I come to you so we can react. And isn't it a wonderful thing? So next time a businessman comes to you and says, oh yeah, I was a bit of a catalyst on that project, make sure you say to them, yes, you look like a homo. And I guarantee, as with all good catalysts, you'll certainly get a reaction. <laughs>